Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Here I have water balls. These balls are made up of 90% water. We got something coming. Which is why, when you drop the clear ones into a bucket of water, look, they just disappear. It's, if it's, it's, it's as if it's not there. Look, it looks like I'm not holding anything, right? Wait, let me go a little further down. It looks like I'm not holding on to anything in here, right? But I am. Now this starts off like a little marble, and you leave it in water, for a couple days and it grows into this giant, giant ball. It's pretty fragile. A few of them actually popped in my car when I turned and some of them fell out and shattered. Even this one's breaking a little bit, but the ones that are smooth and round are just, it looks like a glass sphere. Look at even this one, this clear one, this perfect clear one. Now, as you see, look at my face. It acts like a magnifying glass. You see that? You see how it's magnifying and also flipping my face around? Hey look, I'll come up really close. Look at my eyeball. Can you see that? Look, it's flipping the whole picture of the park behind me. The ground is on the sky and the sky is on the ground. How cool is that? So, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna see just how strong this can magnify something. Now we all know, as a kid, I'm sure you all took a magnifying glass. And what you did, just burning paper, burning holes through paper was fun, but I have something better than paper today. I have these fire starters. Fire starters are made up of just, what is it made out of? So this basically is tinder packed into a little cupcake. I did it with paper, but the problem is the paper just kept having holes burn through it. There was nothing to flame up and actually get burning. It's 99% water, 99% actually, because it starts off like a tiny ball. So if we start a fire with this, essentially we'll be 99.9% .9 starting a fire with water. But let's just see that we actually could get a fire going with these. All right, are you guys ready? Let's see, let's get the flame going. Now what you need is, you need it to get into a tiny little circle. Smaller the better. I'm just trying to get a small little circle. Look at that, there it is. It's smoking. I see it's smoking already. It's smoking, guys. That's cool. Nice, look at that. We actually got that to go. And it's great that there's air out here because you definitely need oxygen. You need the air to blow the flames through. You need to, that's how fires start. Without oxygen, there's no fire, right? So, there we go. We're actually starting it. There we go. There we go. It was clear that we got it to smoke up, that this, is this on fire still? That this tinder cupcake is actually working now. What we're gonna do to get the fire going, we're gonna put the cupcake back in there, we're gonna add some other type of tinder. This is like straw, we'll see if we can actually get the fire to flame. I'm gonna put this in here, we're gonna put it like that, and let's see what happens. We'll try it again with the magnifying glass. The reason I'm doing it with the magnifying glass is to make sure that it'll work, because if I can't get it to work with the magnifying glass, there's no way I'm gonna get it to work with the water ball. Smoking. And there, oh, I thought we had it. Do we have the fire? There we go. We have a fire, guys. We did it. All right, now, it is actually flaming here. Now let's see. That is out now. That was awesome. Okay, so if you're stuck in the woods, if you're stuck in the forest, and you happen to have Tinder, any Tinder, you could get it from anywhere, and you have a water ball, because who wouldn't have a water ball in the woods? Let's see now if it could actually work to start a fire. Moment of truth. Now we're gonna try with the clear one first. Because if the clear one works, 
Well, the clear one, the clear one has the best shot of working because that will allow the most sunlight to pass through. over just a little bit. We are so close. All right, we're gonna, there is a ton of smoke coming. We got the smoke going. Can we get the fire? So close. All right, we'll try a new one. Okay, we're gonna pack some tinder in the hole there. And we're gonna take char cloth. We could definitely get it to ignite, we just have to do it the right way. Okay, hopefully this will work now. Can we do it this time? There's the smoke. I see the edges are burning up. Oh, we got fire! We got it guys, we did it. We got fire with the water ball. How awesome is that? That is amazing guys, we have an actual fire going. All from using the water ball and some tinder. We got water to create a fire. How awesome is that? That is amazing. I, I mean, I knew it should work, I just, it's so cool to actually see it work. That is awesome. That is truly awesome. What happens if we drop this on it? Oh, that's what happens, it smashes. Well, this is actually good for grass. Oh. Because the grass, since it's mostly water, the grass will feed off of that water for a while. But look at that beautiful fire. Look how awesome that is. Let's get this water out. Let's get this water out. Let's get this fire out. Since this is mostly water. All right, that was awesome, guys. I'm wondering if we could actually get matches to light the same way. The magnifying glass first, and then we'll know if our water ball will have the same shot. You need a little concentrated. Nice, wow, that was cool. So a magnifying glass and the sun can get a, start a fire with matches. Let's see if we could do the same with the water ball. If one goes. So it is not lighting the match, and I think it's not doing it for two reasons. One, with a magnifying glass, you're able to get a much more of a round shape. It's able to start a fire, but with the water ball, there's water in it, so of course it's not gonna be easy to get a fire going. Last experiment we're gonna try is with a balloon. black surface on it, where we will concentrate our beam. All right, ready guys, let's go. Three, two, one, I think, wow. I said I think this is gonna work. It took like two seconds for it to work. Now we're gonna try it with the water ball. We have some people coming. Yeah. What's up guys, we have some incredible science fans here. All right. We have an incredible science fan actually in the video I'm here. I'm careful, careful. All right, so basically, do you think it's gonna pop? I put a black circle on it, pull this. Gonna make it nice, look at it. All right, so we're gonna take the water ball. We did it with a magnifying glass. Did you guys see the balloon pop a minute ago? Yeah. So that was just a magnifying glass on the balloon. So we're gonna see if we can do it. This is a water ball. It's made up of just water, you know Orbeez? Yeah. So Orbeez grow in the water. This These are jot and die in Orbeez. Yeah. But it's like magnified. Do you think it's gonna pop? Wait, a block on here. Oh, oh, it worked! On here. Oh, oh, it worked! It actually worked, we popped it with oh. water. How awesome, that was nice. Well, I, the one thing I know is that black is like the cat. It absorbs the heat, right, that's what we were thinking. So it actually popped the balloon, it started the fire, that was cool guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being part of the video guys. You guys stay incredible. You guys stay incredible. I will see you soon. Watch what happens when I crush it. Oh, that's so satisfying and nasty at the same time. This will actually water the grass. All right, gotta go. See you soon. Stay incredible.
Peace.